I just want to do a quick video about escapees. Crystal's at work right now at the campground and I'm recovering. I don't know if you can see the gauze right there, but I'm recovering from a uh, defibrillator that I got put in um, my heart yesterday. So kind of on quote unquote bed rest. So I just want to do a quick video about escapees. It's what we decided to go through to forward our mail. Uh, I know we've mentioned it in a few videos so far and uh, I felt like this was the best opportunity to talk to everybody and kind of not necessarily lean your decision either either way or whatever but at least give you some information uh, maybe one or two things that you haven't known or haven't seen because I know for sure there's at least one thing that I know now that I didn't after watching multiple YouTube videos um, until I actually signed up and learned so like I said, Escapee's mail surface is who we went through, and this is not, we only have 100 subscribers. This is not uh, paid for or sponsored or anything like that. Uh, I'm just giving some info for whoever wants to hear it. Um, so essentially what they do is they forward your mail. Uh, you get it sent to them and they send it to wherever you want. So Chris and I were already Florida residents. Through Escapee's you can decide to do a domicile in either Florida Texas or South Dakota. We chose Florida for a domicile because it made the process that much easier um, in the fact that we did not have to go to any DMV or driver's license, vehicle registration department to change our address. We did everything online and they changed our addresses on everything, sent it to the Texas escapees address which then mailed it to us. So talking about the Texas escapees address, when you sign up, depending on what state you choose, for us we chose Florida, we technically have two addresses. We have a Florida address, which is our primary residence. That's the address that's listed on our driver's license, listed on our vehicle registration, our bank account information, uh, health care. Um, the county that we are registered in is where we have to vote. And then we have our Texas address. Our Texas address is where the main, I guess you would call the main escapees building or location is, and that's where all your all your mail goes. Everything. Doesn't matter if you accidentally sent it to the Florida location or not, it's gonna get forwarded to Texas, and then from there you decide where you want it sent to wherever you're staying. So doesn't matter, it's gonna go to Texas. That is their main hub. So just so you know, that was one thing I didn't um, I didn't understand or I didn't know and I never really caught from any other videos about escapees. You'll most likely, I don't know how it works if you do Texas domicile, you'll, you might only have one address I would assume. But for South Dakota and Florida, you're going to have two addresses. You're going to have a primary residence, which is going to be Florida in our case, and then Texas is going to be your mailing address. That's where everything gets sent. So with that, we learned really quick, um, maybe within three days, that we needed the scanning package or the, the mail scanning package I guess they call it uh, from escapees so what that does is anytime you get a letter or any type of package or whatever sent to your mailing address in Texas they scan it and they upload it to the computer where you can or upload it where you can see it on your computer rather um, as a as a visual document a scan so that helps you they, they send out an email, right? So after they scan it, they send you an email saying you have new documents scanned in your account or whatever. Go to your, go to your uh, login information, log in on the computer. You can see whatever they scan and then you have three options on each picture, each scan. Let's you decide if you want to destroy it, which is great for junk mail or, or any of that crap, you know. We all know that Good Sam likes to send you a bajillion things in the mail, especially when you're uh, account is about to expire um, you can keep it and then add it to your next scheduled uh, ship shipment or you can pay an extra 10 cents and scan the documents of whatever that envelope is and then you can basically look inside that envelope and then decide if you want to keep it or destroy it after that so when you when you keep it and then it goes to a um, next scheduled delivery that might not necessarily mean you have a delivery scheduled already what that means is it's saved and then as soon as you decide you want your next shipment of mail that they have there in texas to be sent to you 
everything that you decided to keep and that's in your, I don't know, let's say your uh, box, you know, your keep box gets sent to you. So that also depends on how much postage is going to cost. Obviously, the bigger the package, the more postage. With your shipment delivery, you can decide how you want it shipped. You can decide if you want United States Postal Service, FedEx, or UPS. You can also decide within those entities if you want, um, you know, USPS Priority Mail, if you want overnight FedEx or UPS. All that stuff, there's a comment section that you can tell them word for word what you want to do. And I can 100% say that Escapees has this down. They are on top of it. I have gotten emails and phone calls from them. I, I didn't even think they were still open at certain points of the night and I was getting emails um, saying that your shipment's gonna go out tomorrow or we received your instructions, we'll take care of as soon as possible or just an answering random questions that I had because when we first started with them I was really clueless kind of why I'm making this video so escapees they have this nailed down they, they know what they're doing so don't don't be worried if it's uh, when you go to their website if it's too much information to kind of grasp a hold of it first so that's pretty much it this is just gonna be a quick video like I said uh, check them out it's not paid we're not getting anything for this but I, I like to let people know things that I didn't know so to reiterate, you get two addresses if you're not in Texas already. So we're in Florida. So we have a Florida primary residence address through Escapees and we have a Texas mailing address through Escapees. It's the same box number on both, but they everything goes to Texas and then we decide what location we want it sent to depending on where we're camping at. So that's one of the biggest things I never really found an answer for on YouTube. Um, also, let me reiterate a little bit on the, the process. The process is pretty simple. When you go to sign up, they send you a packet information. It, it might be a little overwhelming to you. Um, just take your time. Just know that it's easier if you have a computer, a printer, and a scanner with internet, all of that uh, accessible. Because we did everything by internet and a scanner, and we did it pretty much in about a day, I guess. Maybe even quicker. Uh, the hardest, I guess, most confusing thing I would say is the postal service form that you have to fill out, basically giving escapees the rights and authorization to take your mail uh, because you have to get that notarized. We went through, I think it was notarized.com, and I want to say it was about 20 bucks uh, for Crystal and I both to be on the same paper. We did everything online. I think our appointment was at like 9 o'clock at night with this woman, uh, a, notar a notary and um it, but it was simple i mean really really simple it is the notarized.com they're like escapees they have it down too it it it's crazy how easy it is and you talk to the people as you do it so um just so you know you're gonna have to get it notarized they're obviously you don't have to do it online you can take it to a notary or if you have a friend that'll do it for cheap you know that's obviously an easy route too but just know that uh once you get all the originals of your packet, you have to mail them to escapees, uh, actually like snail mail, not email. You have to actually mail them in a packet so they have all the originals too. So just keep that in mind. Definitely if you have internet with a computer with internet, a scanner and a printer, this will make your life a lot easier when you're going through this process. So that's pretty much it. I, mean, I just wanted to uh, waste some time. I'm getting kind of bored in the camper today. Nobody's here. Uh, so if you guys, I don't know if this video helped you, let me know, subscribe, comment, like it, you know, do all the things that everybody else says. Um, I'll put a link down for notarized.com. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link for escapees. Definitely check them out. If you don't, yeah, don't if, if you don't even go with them, at least look at them and, uh, you know, give them the option. You know, I know there's a couple more other companies that are pretty good also. Uh, we just went decided to go with Scapies because uh, they had the most most reviews in my opinion and definitely the most um, good reviews. So again, uh, like, subscribe, and we will see you again. Hopefully we're going to be doing a tour of our Grand Design Solitude 382WB uh, here soon.